Good morning from the beautiful country of Georgia. Today we are continuing our road trip and we came across this castle. Are we pointing at it? Yeah, let's check it out. We're driving down the road and we just came across this castle called Kurtvitsi Fortress. So we're like, uh, yeah, we're just gonna stop here. This was not at all planned, but it looks cool. Let's just go check it out real quick. Can't ever say no to a castle. Already right off the bat, I'm loving this entrance. It's under construction, but it's still open. They're like, yeah, just go on up, be careful. Jamie's no! Spoilers if you haven't seen it yet. What was that? <laughs> Jamie's hand. <Sand>. Oh, okay. <laughs> here to protect this castle. We can claim it as our own, right? That's actually not a horrible idea. Isn't that how castles work? Yeah, I think You just so. kind of lock yourself inside and say, this is mine now. Yeah, we don't have an army or anything, but... We couldn't get our car up here, but we'd have to carry our bags and that would suck. So they'd probably have a donkey somewhere, I mean, if we own the castle. Yeah, we could, we, ooh, we could start requesting tribute from the town. One taxation. Of the, yeah, taxation <laughs> on the town. Bring me a coffee. <laughs> All right, this is the entrance as far as we can tell. Yeah. There's no one here, no ticket offices, nothing. It is just open and free for the taking. Just a quick stop at this castle. We are the only people here, and I mean only. There's no workers, there's no guards, there's nothing. The only people in this castle. It is amazing. So if someone else wants to come and claim it, hurry up because they're doing some restoration process. And I have to imagine this will be advertised and open to the public a lot in just a little bit. All right, we're headed off now to a monastery that Ashley had pinned previously. Let's go. Monastery. We got tickets. They were about two dollars each, and the Saudi guide was guide was about four. And now we're gonna start looking at the monastery. This place. 
At first I was a little, little bored and annoyed because it was just hole in the wall after hole in the wall. But that last place we just went to, the monastery section of it was really cool. And there was a long tunnel section. I like that. It feels like you're exploring, even though probably thousands of people have been there before. But I love it. That was freaking cool. I really, really loved walking through there. But we worked up an appetite, so we decided to stop at this beautiful restaurant by the river. We both got soup. It smells really, really good. Uh, we're gonna sit here and eat and just enjoy ourselves. The best part about this is it's right next to the monastery and it's inexpensive. Our soup was five uh, lari each, which is about $2. Uh, my beer was $2, bread was $1. All really good prices. After lunch, we were talking about what our favorite part was about being up there and I think my favorite part, I have two favorite parts. First, we went to the winery area where they fill the pots and they keep them and inside of there was still part of one pot. That was yeah. really, really cool. That was like, so cool. You could see the you broken pot in the ground. Yeah. In the ground, yeah. And then the other part was um, just going through that tunnel. We had no idea how long the tunnel was and where it would lead us, but we just went for it and nobody else was in there with us. That was really, really neat too. And the thing is, is Ashley and I were just talking about this. We realized we're pretty bad about just getting our conversations on camera because we don't have the camera rolling all the time. Being just like a natural flowing conversation is a little harder for us to film. We want to try and get more of that in there, but at the same time, our videos are only like 10 minutes long or so. And, and talking takes forever. Yeah, this, <laughs> us talking is already a minute long right now. That's a tenth of our video, just this mm. small conversation. It's hard for us to do that. So uh, let us know in the comments below, guys. Do you enjoy all the scenery and the cool shots or, or do you facts. want more talking and more facts? Yeah. We're curious what you guys actually come to the videos for. Let us know, but now I think we're gonna head out. We don't know where we're staying tonight. No. Nope. Um, <laughs> we're literally gonna drive down the street and when we find a hotel that looks decent but not too expensive, we're gonna stop and ask how much it is for a night and we're gonna make sure they have Wi-Fi yep. and then tomorrow drive to the capital city to Blisi. All right let's hit the road. So we just left the monastery and our road has turned to gravel and we're going all the way up there. We're literally going over the mountain. <laughs> Georgia man. Yeah. I love it but at the same time we're in a rental that's like a BMW or something like Ooh. Yeah it's pretty low to the ground but adventure in Georgia. We We've been through way worse than this in just the last two days, so there's no problem. We're gonna go so high though. Oh my gosh. Eyes on the road. Eyes on the road. There's a guardrail, we can't fall off. Yeah, we could. I have always gotten really freaked out on edges and ledges like this. Like, if you ask my parents, they would say I would always get freaked out about it. I've gotten so much better, I would have almost panic attacks when we are on a really cliffy edge. But right now I'm, I'm not feeling panicky. You got over it. But it is really scary. You got over it through when we were traveling in like yeah, Nepal. Yeah, yeah, Nepal is crazy. We went on the craziest roads there and the ledge was insane. I had to get over it because I would have almost a panic attack every time we went driving yeah, in the mountains. Yeah, every day. Uh, crazy. enough to live up here. We are literally in the boonies of Georgia. Like the top of a mountain where people live and have little farms right outside. That's an old bus convert. Oh, I got paid attention to the road. There's a <laughs> hole. There are speed bumps. Yeah, no, not speed bumps. Pot, giant potholes with the river <laughs> running through it. It's like a whole plateau up here. Just the, the top of a mountain and it's all flat. People grazing. Well, not people grazing. Cows grazing. They're making hay. 
And I'm making my way downtown, walking fast, and I'm homebound. Okay, so the other day I brought up Catan, but literally on top of this mountain, this is Catan land. There was a man with his sheep back there. There's woods literally right here, and then hay on this side. If you guys have never played Settlers of Catan, I'm almost positive you should do it in your lifetime. And also, like, what? This, this is Catan land, for sure. I love your points. You should definitely play it in your <laughs> lifetime, and also, what? <laughs> what? My family would appreciate this, that we are in, we, we, are, we are literally in Catan. in Catan right now. We are, we are journeyers of Catan. We're going to find out where we need to put our little settlement, and then we're going to build a city. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. So, like, dreams coming true, right? Catan dreams. Yeah, I've totally <laughs> dreamed of living out Catan in real life. This is awesome. Okay, and then we ran out of batteries. Georgia is so beautiful. We, I wanted to film everything, and then we ran out of batteries. We have three batteries, and we ran out of batteries. <laughs> There's so much to see. It's such a beautiful country. I'm not sure if Georgia is underrated, or we're just oblivious, because we knew nothing about this, and everywhere we turned was like, All what is day. that? What is that? What is that? Yeah. We ended, uh, we ended up driving like a lot more than we expected. We drove maybe four hours after we talked to you guys yep, at lunch. Yep. So um, we are now in the city of Tbilisi. Um, Ashley found us a hotel on the drive here um, mm -hmm. through through my phone, and the description sounded great. Really awesome through Booking.com, um, but now we're staying in a box. It was too good to be true. It's literally an apartment, and we're in one of the rooms. <laughs> Josh won't even take a shower because the bathroom's so disgusting. I feel cleaner. <laughs> being dirty <laughs> than taking a shower. Oh my gosh, we rarely ever travel this way. Um, usually we either make plans ahead of time or we have people make plans for us, but we decided- Or we were over at the like, Airbnb or something. Yeah, we like, decided this trip we would just kind of wing it and- um, And this is what you get when you wing it. Last night we pooped in a hole and tonight we- um, Our, I mean, it's not bad, but look. <laughs> in a tiny room. This, this is the whole room, you're seeing it. And it's, it's box. and it's but not we clean. We spent fifteen dollars for the night. Cheap. And last night we spent only five dollars or ten dollars yeah. for the night. So yeah, tomorrow we are at an Airbnb. We'll uh, see you guys then. Good night from Tbilisi. I hope we encourage you to get out and travel today, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Good night. Bye.